Hi everyone. So today we're going to be making the Penang chicken, which is a favourite of my family. Really tasty and um, a different take on the Indian curry that, or butter chicken that um, you might usually make. I discovered this uh, curry. We're just trying to expand, you know, the usual dishes, go to dishes, dishes that I normally make at home. So let's get into the ingredients list. Three tablespoons of peanut oil, 1.5 kgs of skinless, boneless chicken cut into cubes. And for your herbs, you need two tablespoons of garlic, two tablespoons of brown sugar, one level tablespoon of chili powder, two tablespoons of fish sauce, and two and a half tablespoons of lemongrass. Then you also need five carrots sliced and peeled, of course. Two cans of coconut cream. We're going to use the entire bottle of the Penang curry paste today, and that is 210 mils. You will need 500 grams of peanut butter, the smooth version. And you will need coriander to garnish at the end. Okay, so I've got my peanut oil heated already in the pot and I'm going to add the chicken. And stir. And then I want all my flavors to infuse into the chicken, so I'm going to add that now. And give it a good stir. Oh, that smell is gorgeous. And then you're going to um, cook this until your chicken turns white. It should be in about maybe five to ten minutes. Just keep stirring your pot every one to two minutes, checking that uh, the heat and the chicken is cooking evenly. And I will close my pot and then check it in the next two minutes. And keep doing this for the next 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and I've opened the pot. You'll have a look and notice uh, that there's quite a bit of water in there. Don't worry about it because you can control that by cooking some of the time with your uh, pot uncovered. So what we're going to do now is add the vegetables and I've decided on the fly to add a cup and a half of green leaves. The vegetables that goes well with this dish is uh, carrots of course, green beans and broccoli. I'm just going to pour that in here. And then I'm going to add the Penang curry paste, the entire bottle.
and give it a quick stir. That is looking so colorful and gorgeous. So what we're going to do now is we're going to close the pot and leave it unattended. Um, just keep cooking on the medium heat and we will check back. This is just so that we could get uh, the vegetables soft and even our dente would be fine. Um, and we will check back in 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and now we're just going to add the peanut butter. So that's what you're looking for. And then you're going to stir the peanut butter through. You'll see now that your the liquid in your food has almost disappeared. And to combat that, we're going to now add the coconut cream. And you're going to stir that through once again. This is what your Penang curry should look like. You get the colors from the peanut butter, but I feel like I would like it to be hotter and redder. Um, and this is a recipe for a mild curry. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some more chili paste, just because I want a kick out of it. And I'm going to do that. Add a tablespoon of chili paste, tomato paste, sorry. And I'm going to stir that through. And let it cook for maybe one to two minutes and then that is all done.
Okay, so all I've done here, we're going to serve it with rice tonight. So I've dished up some rice uh, and I'll show you what the end result looks like. So all I've done there is added uh, my coriander slash cilantro and I'm going to put that onto a plate. That looks yum. And there you have it, Penang Chicken Curry. Thanks for watching today. Please do subscribe to my channel. If you like the recipe and you've tried it out, please do like hit the like button. And I'll see you in the next one.